Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. Today we're gonna to be working on this C6 Corvette Grand Sport Convertible. Gonna be taking the customers Head unit that was already previously installed since he bought this vehicle from Carvana and nothing's working correctly. So we're gonna to try to get everything to where it works properly like an OEM, changing out the harness and integration module to make everything work right. taking this customer's Pioneer radio. He purchased this car from Carvana. None of the steering wheel controls work. Everything on this doesn't sound right. It, it's terrible. So we're gonna get him the right, correct harness and try to make everything work correctly with what he has so that he doesn't have to buy all new. All right, so we have the rear speaker leads here. They've just butt connected, connected to another one. So we're gonna redo all this, retest the tape all this. It's the same way on the other side. So we're gonna redo all this so that it looks correct. It's all wired correct and we don't have no more issues. I feel sorry for this car and it's amplifier because this uh, was about to cause this to catch on fire. Yeah, Cause this is completely, oh my God. So they broke the fucking fiberglass. Look right here too. They cut it. They notched it out. Oh my God. His driver's side door harness, loveliness. Got to fix all that too. We got the speakers mounted in here. Beavis got those in. We've got our terminals ready from the audio dynamics. Everything's ready on the new sound bar back here to be able to put the five and a quarters in. We're also gonna redo the harnesses and everything. This is bad. I 
every part of this car just keeps getting worse and worse and more worse. It's just like, my God, guys, like how bad of a job can you do? Just. All right, so we made some custom tweeter pieces for the 4000 series audio dynamics tweeters to be able to mount up in here. These are some of the best tweeters we've used by far. So, and they use a metal collet ring to be able to mount, which is really nice. All right, we've got the 4000 series tweeters mounted. Everything's mounted in here really well. That way we can just run the tweeters. It's weird how these are set up. The, this speaker is mounted to the actual door, whereas this speaker is mounted to the actual door panel. So these will be the 4000 series audio dynamics tweeters. And then inside the actual door itself will be the speakers, which we used. We built these out of half inch plastic. Um, using a six by nine component from audio dynamics should sound really, really awesome when it's all done. We're gonna install these baffles into the back of our six by nine adapters right into here. That way it'll mount right in. That way we don't have to worry about anything behind and should give us some really good mid base response. And then we're gonna dye mat over all this. All right, so we got the back of our door panels already. We redid all this wiring harness here, audio dynamics. Beavis made this custom tweeter mount here, and this slides on here because it's metal. This is a metal collet right here to be able for the 4000 series tweeter. We ran everything back through here, our audio dynamics crossover. We did all the wiring harnesses down here, dynamited all the door, ran our adapter plate, basket behind, everything's all in here. We cleaned everything up. This thing should sound absolutely killer with this setup. Should be awesome when it's all said and done. Ton of work. <laughs> 